Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War Legendary Iron Man playthrough Liberation Mission in South uh, West uh, Australia, which is going to be a great spectacle. We do have... What is this team? I think it's the Space Wolves uh, that are... Uh, going to do that mission for us so we do have quite a elaborate squad of six people and we're up not only for 27 intel but more um, importantly uh, we are up against six teams or six pods of the enemy this will then uh, give us the opportunity to get the actual liberation going with the tower mission and later with the HQ, so lots to think about. But before we talk through all of that, let's jump into some action. Relay is up ahead. Move in and okay. Wow, that is going to be an interesting, an interesting ride. Let's start with Oscar Miking. We have no great high ground. Maybe this here. Let's see if this is going to trigger. The answer is no. All right. Snake Pliskit moves up. Fair enough. Really? Well, that is a coincidence, isn't it? Go, go, go. Good copy. Moving on target. Head now. Affirmative. Overwatch, 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 and let's see what these guys are doing and if we're being spotted out. I do have the feeling that our shinobi might be spotted out soon. Armor still holding. Okay, interesting first round. Very interesting first round. So Seems doable. this here should trigger both of the overwatches. Oh no, it was just one field. Well, never mind then. Two, four, six, seven, and that pretty much sounds like shotgun to the face to me. Check it before you get too close. Where to? Nice advanced scope, that is actually insane. Nah. Unfortunately, no bueno. Sort of, that was impressive. Three down, two of the drones, that's five overall. Finally. Covering out. 
There's a six drone. Moves over, should trigger the drone. Oh, triggers much more than that, interesting. Good. I would like this here to be handed over so that we have a more accurate rocket because very soon this is going to hurt very badly for you guys. Bring in the pain. I guess that'll be okay. Let's get the mutant. Moves into full cover. I like that. So high ground position. Aviator has a super safe position thanks to being uh, defensive I think upon reconsidering Redman should just move back Good shadow bound. Total shocker, I know. Now the one person that they could see is gone. And everything else is basically out of line of sight. Of course, they can always slither in. Okay, this is bad. And take shots. Lots of overwatch and we're getting more enemies by the minute. up twenty one points of damage. Hello. I 
That's one of the most valuable flamethrowers that I've used so far. And thanks to rescue protocol, he can just move out afterwards. Such a strong ability now that I am starting to use it. These guys are all burning, so nothing that they do will stick. As in, next turn, they just waste their turn. Four, six, seven, that looks like a kill to me. Yet another kill. We're doing very well for ourselves. slowly moving up with implacable as well Let's get that Guardian. No. Let's 
bit of a distraction from where we should be going. Good, that indeed was a bit of a distraction, but we're okay now. There's another pack, we just need to make sure that we're not triggering it. Whatever you say. But we should be fine. our position on the move. Let's do this. Good to go. Renvin. Running. And Snake Plisket. Good, steady weapon, overwatch, overwatch. Here. It's dead. It has to be dead. Grenadier. It's a hit, but only a grazing one. to go too close to the purifier not particularly keen on meeting this guy face to face Good, they are stunned, so that means no problems for us at the moment. Seems doable. Bit more overwatch. Not sure if I would want to move. We are in full cover, so end of turn. Unfortunately, got to deal with those donuts here. Alright, 
Equipped one mech. More like one snack. Once I'm done with it. Good, we're still having this guy up there. This kid gets an A protocol. I should have given that to our sniper. And it goes down. And as much as I want to charge in there, I don't want our sniper to get beaten up. So really what we're going to do is charge back. I know it's stupid. Gotta deal with. Gotta deal with uh, the data transfer. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Oh yeah. That's it. That gives us loot and solves the problem. Free reload, we need all of the damage that we can uh, get. I got a piece. At least it's halfway down. Can move to here, shoot if needed. Reloaded. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, end of turn.
Good hit. Good, we're moving people back, but I still want to hit the mission objective. Which is great, so reload here and then rapid fire. This whole area here looks like a complete and utter war zone. I love it. We thoroughly bombed everything. Like there is nothing left over. Get some, and then get out of here. Yeah, not enough damage to get them all down, but that's okay. Yeah, we took a bit of damage, but wow, we killed 30 enemies and we still had a round left over. Problem is the reinforcements at some point are just becoming too obnoxious. Like every having reinforcements every round just makes it very, very, very difficult. Very good. One sec. Good. Ranven got a promotion. And ooh, is Ranven really the first Master Sergeant? Damn, boy. You are great. Love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm moderately proud. No, I'm a little bit more than moderately proud. That's great. Rupture, fantastic. 50% bonus damage. We don't have Rupture yet. That is great. Combat Fitness isn't bad either. 4 aim, 1 mobility, 2 hit points, 4 will and 4 dodge in just 1 talent. That's not bad. My dude, that's not bad at all. And we got kill zone. Kill zone is okay, but it's really better for the Overwatch uh, thing. I wonder if we are going to take uh, Rupture for the little bit harder targets, right? So we're uh, using Rupture and then kind of um, rapid fire. Respectively, the gunners can uh, can start to more a uh, target down. Uh, we don't have a real damage increase at the moment. 
and rupture isn't bad at all 50% four turns cooldown and three additional damage per attack it's not bad Combat fitness isn't bad either like this in itself is good it's very good aim one mobility extra hit points Does Rupture end the turn automatically? I think yes. So you can't Rupture and then Rapid Fire. Makes sense. Yeah, you get a standard shot. But could transfer an action over to him and it'll be fine. For aim, that's a uh, low PCS for free actually almost a mid PCS the mobility not bad the hit points are actually very good I'm torn they have um, done the combat fitness they have balanced it in a way that it's not an easy choice I think given the overall a state that uh, we're going to use him and the gunner or him and a um, and a sniper together rupture might be the right call but then this is also really really good does rupture automatically crit Fifty percent bonus to critical chance. That's great. And three extra damage. We're going for rupture. It's it was a close decision. Uh, before we do that, for ten points, we could also take um, lightning hands which is just extra damage and sometimes that's all we need it's better than the hunker down All right, we got a master sergeant. Good old Ranven. Is this really our first master sergeant? <laughs> yeah, good job, buddy. Congrats. Well done. And you guys also can uh, do bond level three. That's even cooler. Not bad. I like what I'm seeing. Really good. Okay. Hmm. Now we can continue the liberation mission here. We finally got the network tower, like I said. And we can take the same team as before. Minus our sniper who took a couple of hits, right? But the Blood Angels could theoretically do that. Six days infiltration looks absolutely fine for me. It's a strong sword, so why not, uh, why not use it? They got good weapons. They got the right equipment. I think I can use them right away and then they can continue the infiltration 21 enemies yeah I think that's very much doable
Blood Angels came back to the base and then immediately deployed onto the next mission. South Africa gets a new recruit. Fantastic. We're up to eight. Now, um, that's what I love and hate about uh, Long War. There is so much to do on the global map. There is literally always something to do on this uh, map. We need to find uh, the liberation Ah, this here is uh, the liberation once that's through in two hours we can continue looking for it in the meantime we might want to visit the black market One, two, three, um, Alarium cores. Let's see what else can we use, uh, can we sell? Um, I think all of this is fine. Focus, we don't need. Hair trigger, we don't need. Stocks we can sell a couple because we typically don't need them. That we can sell. But that gives us enough supplies to Theoretically build a uh, tower here and expand a bit further. I want to make sure that we're taking that actually serious. Build radio relay. Oh, 350. Pfft, you're kidding me, right? Well, we're staying with 200 supplies then for now. Mission gone away, so we're looking for the new liberation. Hack the resistance computer and find the lead. That is not the liberation mission, but we have an eight day mission available. So the ultramarines would be available for this mission. And why not? Why would we not do it? Psy operative, uh, but that hmm, means seven days of infiltration. That's a long time for an infiltration. Without the PsyOps, we're looking at what? Five days? Yeah, we. Hmm. Twenty-one enemies. I think we can take them with a team.
Let me fix something. Good, so uh, moved a little bit, bought some more supplies uh, or made some more supplies and then bought uh, the better infiltration for six plus people. Uh, that way we just merely go up by a couple of hours and we will end up with another operative that's very very good and the ultramarines get a psyker that is supporting them other than that uh, they are in a good in a good uh, setup or in a good mood don't see anything wrong with them so might as well go and infiltrate continue scanning here uh, that is just three people so boost the infiltration very good seven to nine that should not be a problem but we're going to do that the next time for today we're at the end of uh, the episode thanks for watching guys if you enjoy long war of the chosen content uh, here's my typical plug leave a comment and a like down below that truly and seriously helps the channel if uh, you enjoyed it, let me know what exactly you enjoy and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.